First, the Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance strongly believes in and supports the aspirations and ambitions of Kenyans from all occupations. People of Kenya, the opening of our great constitution 2010 not only captures the aspirations and dreams of our people, but also affirms beliefs of our alliance in support of the full implementation of the constitution and putting the dreams of ordinary people of Kenya first. Recent surveys indicate that up to 67% of Kenyans strongly believe the country is heading in the wrong direction. The press release addresses our proposals and sponsored amendments to the budget policy statements by legislators of the Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance for the financial year of 2022 to 2023. The propositions reflect the stand of the Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance, which we are fully committed to implementing under our new administration after elections on Tuesday, August 9th, 2022. The first item, this is the chokehold of public debt on Kenyans. The stock of public debt was 1.8 trillion at the end of June 2013. That was at the end of Kibaki's term. And it accounted for 39% of gross domestic products, that is GDP. According to the National Treasury, the public debt has grown sixfold to Kenya shillings 11.7 trillion. The cabinet secretary for the National Treasury exceeded the set debt ceiling without seeking new approval from the Parliament in total violation of the Constitution and the Public Finance Management Act of 2012. It may be of interest to note that debt commitment pre-handshake, and I repeat, pre-handshake, was 4.5 trillion Kenya shillings. And the post-handshake figure has ballooned to 11.7 trillion. The question is this, was the handshake a license to burdening Kenyans with punitive public debt, punitive taxation, punitive food prices, and a high cost of living? The Cabinet Secretary for the National Treasury should not sign any new loans, including floating sovereign bonds during this transition period. The National Assembly and the Senate should reduce the budget ceiling to ensure a physical deficit that does not exceed Kenya shillings 400 billion and check on the growing public debt. The National Assembly and the Senate must avoid any further strangulation of Kenyans with additional debt by refusing any request for approval of a new debt ceiling. We are aware that the CS for the National Treasury has prepared for submission to Parliament a new debt ceiling of approximately over Kenya shillings 12 trillion. Let me come to the issue of equitable share of money going to the counties. This is the 495 billion to the counties. You will recall the BBI bill 2020, which was resoundingly rejected by the courts, proposed amendments of Article 203, Subsection 2 of the Constitution to increase the equitable share raised nationally allocated to county governments from 15% to 35%. Ladies and gentlemen, we do not need a constitutional amendment to give more money to counties. The budget policy statement of 2022 
has proposed to maintain the equitable share of the revenue going to counties at Kenya shillings 370 billion. We therefore support the proposal by our members again under section 25, subsection 7 of the Public Finance Management Act of 2012 to increase the equitable share to counties to Kenya shillings 495 billion. The amendment is in line with Article 203 of the Constitution and represents 35% of the audited and approved nationally raised revenue figure of Kenya shillings 4.6 trillion as adopted by the House in the audit report of the financial year of 2017-2018. Basically, what we are saying here, if these guys were committed to giving more money to the counties, they should not oppose those amendments or this proposal. The law allows Parliament to pass a resolution to adopt the budget policy statement with or without amendments. This amendment deserves the goodwill and, and unwavering support of all members of the National Assembly, governors and the MCAs to ensure devolution works in line with the constitutional mandate of counties. Let me now come.